elite competition for the first time in five years. Led once again by... There are three changes from the midweek game against Legia Warsaw with Greg Taylor, Kyogo and Jota coming into the side, keeping the centre-back partnership and the midfield three the same. For Norwich City, they have been busy in pre-season. They had a trip to Cambridge United on Tuesday night and it's a pretty fresh team from that game with eight changes, led by Scotland international Grant Hanley and joined by his... So underway at Celtic Park. That's something that we've been seeing from Celtic in this pre-season. Joe Hart playing high, almost coming between the centre-backs. Maeda in again, and this time knocked out by Omobama Daly. Yeah. McGregor to Jota. Juranovic looking to support him. Jota decides Hitate is better placed. And he just lost control of it at the key moment, the Japanese. Lovely little reverse pass, no look pass, and Hitate just <laughs> hesitated there in two minds. Neat passing from Celtic. Juranovic looks for Hitate again, who's covering all sorts of ground from the Celtic midfield. Yeah, he drifts, doesn't he, Hitate? Late runs into the box, scored a brilliant goal. Legia Warsaw in the week. Clever pass from Juranovic, nearly there. Taylor just managing to get there ahead of Sinani, and that opens up the chance for Celtic through Jota. And the deflection takes it away from Maeda and out for the corner kick. Yep, yeah, and Joe Hart's going to come under serious pressure from Timo Puki. The result is a Norwich corner. A cry smile from Timo Puki. Joe Hart really lax there, wasn't he? Took his time, not quick enough, and Puki was onto him. Bit of space to turn in. Rasicha. Puki with the flicked header, which goes over the top. Yeah, when Sinani got on the half turn, initially Puki had made a run, the ball popped out to receipt, who likes to come inside. Taylor now in field from his left-back position. Mitch Jota, here goes Juranovic, being chased by Rasicha, delivered with power, but a little bit too much on it from the Croatian. Just lacked quality with the cross. Really good from Taylor and Jota. Two touches, Juranovic on. Celtic working the ball into shoulder to shoulder. McGregor slides in, but can't win it from Sinani. Rasicha has the shot and good save from Joe Hart, who had to get down low. Yeah, Rasicha likes to come in on that right foot and gets a shot off. Maybe Juranovic could have got a bit closer to him. But Hart down, good pace on the shot. Hart down smartly. Now Jota wins it from McCallum. He's scampered away from him, two options here. One of them's Juranovic. Kyogo's now at the back post. Sliding in was Hanley. Last ditch stuff from Grant Hanley. Yeah, brilliant from Grant Hanley. Missed opportunity from Celtic. A little bit. And he's... And it's good to see him play well in pre-season. He's playing with a point to prove. And Dean Smith has picked him out as having impressed in recent games. Here's O'Reilly, though. And Juranovic made up! Oh, what a wonderful finish that is from Dyson made up. Close range. Tim Krul got a touch, but he couldn't keep it out. And sometimes... You've got to fashion something special to force the ball in, and Dyson Maeda has done just that to break the deadlock. Celtic leads by a goal to nil. Yeah, he's a live wire. All right. 
he worked it really well. Jota, was there an offside there? I think he was offside as the ball's popped out wide. And as the ball's fizzed in, it's, it's brilliant from Maida. Ball fizzed in by Juranovic, but you know, Norwich City, unfortunate there. The linesman should spot that, but so so innovative from Maida. And Celtic take the lead, but unfortunate circumstances. Taylor out to Kyogo, goes for the return. Does Taylor O'Reilly now looking for his captain and McGregor? It was all set up so nicely, but McGregor couldn't quite apply the finish. No, well defended in the end from Norwich City, but brilliantly worked there. O'Reilly, so patient, little cushion pass. Maybe McGregor could have taken that first time. Sergeant will pick up, and the drag back. Sicha comes off McGregor for a Norwich corner. Yeah, but that all came from Pukki's initial run in behind. And then Sargent picks the ball up. Too tough for Rasicha to take. Callum McGregor looks for the run of Kyogo. The flag goes up against the Japanese. That he hasn't had too many opportunities in front of goal, showing his alertness there, but just going too early. Yep, always looking for that little movement. In behind, Kyogo, difficult ball. See, he's just drifted offside. You can't. On loan from Lorient, Leo Labada, Anthony Ralston, David Turnbull, James Forrest, Alexandro Bernabe, and Georges Yakimakis will all be coming on. Stephen Welsh, Matt O'Reilly, Josip Juranovic, Yusuf Tati. Strong from Sorensen, Puki ahead of him. Rasic out to the right, it comes to Sargent. Sliding in, Moritz Jens with his first touch. Sorensen has to play that earlier. Puki had made a great run. The timing of Puki's runs, always very good. It didn't come. And the ball goes out wide to Sargent. And it's a good block from Jens. Remember that set piece, coach Norwich have Rory. So Cadwell to deliver to the back post comes all the way in, and a good chance for Andrew Omovama Daly. Ah, as well worked. Ball flighted to the far post. Carter Vick has beaten that touch. And somehow, it's off the F shape. Maybe a change of tempo when in possession. Ralston just to curl that one in behind McCallum. Hatati can pick up Yakimakis and David Turnbull with the finish. Good feet from David Turnbull as Celtic seize on the mistake at the back from Norwich City to get their second of the afternoon Angus Gunn beaten by the Celtic substitute David Turnbull I'm not so sure David Turnbull has had a touch up until he scored the goal Kamakis short with the pass but the ball breaks to David Turnbull it's really an awful pass from McCallum and Tate onto it as the ball breaks a great feet there sorts his feet now Turnbull turns up Celtic two up Lovely finish into the corner, composed, across Angus Gunn, no chance for him. Player certainly with an eye for goal. A decent return last season despite 